What's up, smashers? How about we clear out some shoulders today? Does that sound all right? I think it sounds okay for me. You know why? Because shoulder pain will crush everything you do. It's just that simple. So we're gonna clear out the shoulder. The way it works is, remember, the shoulder is not like the hip. Hip is a really tight ball and socket. Shoulder's a really loose ball and socket held together by four muscles. Those four muscles are the anchor. It's not big set of delts from doing lateral raises or dumbbell press wrong instead of nice and tight in front. You know, all the stuff, you guys. Remember, lateral raises, bad for you. You guys saw my video, right? You wanna bend forward a little bit to hit that head. If you're gonna be that bodybuilder, then do it right. Otherwise, you're gonna wind up calling me going, how do I fix my shoulder? And I'm gonna take an x-ray and I'm gonna look at it and go, I got nothing. So we're gonna change your mechanics. Remember, your shoulders are designed to have 360 degrees of motion. That's really important. So I'm gonna show you how to clear out one shoulder at a time. You will find that weak shoulder, that one shoulder that's causing a lot of grief. Because what happens is a pec minor, pec major, lat, serratus, teres, subscap, all this stuff keeps you from going all the way overhead. And if you can't go all the way overhead, you've got a problem. And if you don't think overhead mobility is important, try reaching for something, just look at life. Everything you need to do needs to have full shoulder range of motion. If you don't have that, man, bad things happen. So I'm gonna show you how to clear that out. I'm gonna show you how to reset that shoulder in a really wicked way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit that shoulder. Remember, the shoulder sits really tight and stable in the back of the joint. If it's not sitting in the posterior portion of the joint, you have bad stability, just that easy. So the way it works, I'm gonna show you a really funky test. Take your hand, grab this side, go like this. All you're gonna do is raise your arm. If you go like this and you have some gnarly pain in the front of your shoulder, you need to reset, just that easy. So remember, here's the test. You can have fun with your friends. Grab your shoulder, elbows locked down. So you're not grabbing your shoulder like this. You're gonna grab your shoulder, you're gonna come down like this. All you're gonna do is raise. If you go like this, I'm looking around the side, and there is some really bad pain, you fail. Just that easy. So check this out. All you need is a band and a wall ball, med ball, whatever you want to call it. So many fancy words for this stuff. Let's go over here. We got a med ball. Or if you're a CrossFitter, you call them wall balls. All the same fucking thing. Good. All right, so we go like that. We take our band. We're gonna cinch up. So the band is wound up nice and tight. I'm gonna fulcrum over this. So what we do is we come all the way back, band is loaded. Let's get a better view on this thing. Let's see if we can get all of this. Let's go for the entire thing. There, we'll go like that. Yeah. Well, that's it. That's it, Spielberg right there. So we're gonna wind up, grab on. I'm gonna kick one leg out. I'm gonna use the other leg to post out. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find that spot where the, uh, the shoulder is being dragged back and over with my palm open. So the band is dragging me, the band is attached to the bottom of the rig. I'm gonna let myself fulcrum all the way over this med ball, this wall ball, right between the scapula. And I'm gonna let the, I'm gonna keep my elbow locked out and I'm gonna let the band do the work. And I'm gonna hang out in this position, two minutes, that's it. That's all you gotta do. You're gonna feel a lot of it in the pec and a lot of it in that tight lat. Remember, your whole point is to bring that shoulder into that overhead position. That's number one. And now we're gonna reset the shoulder. This is the funkiest, most fun thing ever because it's really easy. You're gonna grab a, a kettlebell. I don't know what this is, 35. Totally fine, doesn't have to be wicked heavy. So you guys using 88s, badass, but you don't need to do it. Gravity's your friend and it will win every time. So you're gonna take the kettlebell, you're gonna drive it all the way overhead. So it's straight, or all the way out front rather. So it's straight out front. If you notice, I'm gonna take the kettlebell and I'm gonna wind it up. So let's get a little further away so you can see what I'm doing. We'll just do this. There. So you're gonna take the kettlebell, drive it straight out front, and then wind it all the way up, grab the arm. This is gonna give yourself an arm bar, so you can call this a kettlebell arm bar. You're not pressing it out, you're letting gravity really, really approximate the head of that humerus into the posterior portion of the joint. So in other words, you're letting gravity sink your arm. And you're gonna stay like this, not for two minutes, but for three. And when you're done, dump it off to the side. It's just that simple. Hey, listen, that's a shoulder reset and a shoulder mobility drill. I will check you guys out tomorrow. Trav Smashworks, hey, go check out YouTube. There's a full video on there. See you guys later.